All Demsec videos are for educational purposes only. Techniques shown in these videos should only be used in lab environments or environments where authorization has been provided. What's going on guys, it's Dell here from Demsec. And in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at Faraday. Faraday is a way to do collaborative pen testing. And the way it does that is by integrating into a terminal-like piece of software. So that right over here, we've got the Faraday IDE. We'll be taking a look at that in a few minutes. But then what it does is all the output from all your pieces of software and they've got a list of supported plugins but all of the tool outputs get automatically saved to the faraday server so you could have theoretically a bunch of penetration testers on a single project where all the nmat scans get automatically shared between people credentials all that kind of stuff and it acts as like this central hub and the corporate version which i'm going to be taking a look at today so full disclosure they have given me a corporate license to try out um i'm not I can't remember how many days it was off the top of my head, but I'm going to be showing all of the features of the corporate version. Um, I'll add little overlays throughout the video for anything that's missing in the community version. So before we get started, and I know I've just said a lot and not really got to what we're here to see, but my first experiences with the software was installing uh, the client. So the client already came with Kali, but because I was using the corporate version, I couldn't use the same client and the actual installation itself especially on the ubuntu vps that i set up which is actually hosting faraday for us a lot of the python requirements weren't automatically included in like the requirements file so i had to keep rerunning the server and getting the requirement and i know that's you know just a bit annoying but it'd be nice if it was just installed at sh and forget so this is the web interface of faraday and i know i don't have it over https so i'm a bad person but this server is going to disappear very soon and I'm obviously not using a real password. But let's just walk through the interface here. So this dashboard shows you your workspaces and workspaces are essentially what I've just in my head started calling individual engagements. So in this DemSec one, I basically go into here and anything I'm doing in relation to the DemSec engagement goes into this workspace. We've got the status report tab, which is, you know, more just telling us our individual workspaces. We've got hosts, so every time I, if I go into one of these, every time I nmap something or nicto something, it gets auto automatically populated into the hosts here with all the open services, and if I've shared any credentials, they'll also be in here. The corporate version also has reporting. The community version doesn't. It'll just show you a message saying that this is only available in the corporate version. Um, this is a bit of a shame because there are some really cool like open source reporting tools there, and to me, that might make me want to go and for me, for all the extra features this gives me, I think I'd be more invested in having a reporting solution than having this. But obviously, this is a uh, open source project with a paid version. So with the paid version, they want to make money in. I don't blame them. If uh, people are making reports, then it's very likely that um, you know it's being used for corporate or you know at least business reasons. Tasks are um, just a cool way. So if I had five testers, um, we can split up. The test into different people so you can see the titles here we've got the methodology name task name description due date status and who it's assigned to so this might be really good for internal teams even more than um, penetration testing companies just because you could have these long-running pro uh, projects so if in the methodology you could have a full web app test and you can assign it to someone here uh, i don't have it set up just because i i didn't really see the point but um it, there's a web shell here so i do kind of see the point you could have the server on it you know your actual um ip address for penetration testing from if that's how, the way you do it but for me i think the faraday IDE is way better for this and we're getting there and if you go back to the dashboard when you've got a um, workspace selected you see this nice breakdown of everything that's been done all the commands that have been run so let's have a look at the faraday IDE. Um, when you, once you first run this, it'll create a config file in your home directory. You can change that with the URL of the um, Faraday server. And when I just launch the client, it'll automatically connect to the server. So this is the Faraday IDE. You can have multiple tabs and they're all just terminals. So I'll show on screen now all the things that this supports, but I'm just gonna try a few and see how they go into the web interface. Well, let's just start by nmapping the DemSec website. So nmap DemSec. .co.uk. I'm not going to bother adding any flags, but if you see there, I hit enter and it changes the command here so it knows where it's putting the output. 
and it's fairly simple really it's just creating this output file and you see down here a plugin has started and a plugin has ended and if I go back to the web interface and hit refresh you can see here that what command was run and uh, the outputs of it um, which will get added here and you see now we've got two hosts of the uh, two different IPs and that's because the demsec site is running through Cloudflare funnily enough so this is another feature that I find really really cool and I think a lot of the time it can be hard to log in a meaningful way and I think this is really really awesome for just logging any kind of stuff you can do so let's run fierce as well just to show we do support other tools and this is this terminal here is your local Kali machine so this isn't like some kind of weird SSH session this is still your your own terminal um, it's just using Z shell to like interact with everything it's pretty cool and I'm just going to fierce DNS demsec.co.uk and this one's pretty simple it just tees the output to a known, fault, uh, known file sorry so I mentioned before what, what kind of apps this supports, so I'll just show the list again here. They've, they've baked in a lot of stuff here, and apparently it's fairly simple to, you know, make your own plugins, but they've got a BERT proxy extender, so find, I, I believe that means any BERT findings automatically end up in Faraday. And as I mentioned, if you've got the corporate version, um, you can create reports. So if we create a new report, we don't have any kind of templates, but you can, you know, create a generic default. We'll call this a testing report. Nope, oh, got, a, got a bit of a naming convention. Um, it's, it's just telling us that some of the vulnerabilities have no description, no ease of resolution, and that's just because it's taken the titles. Um, summary, we're not going to bother with any of that. We'll just hit OK. So unfortunately, I've just not been able to get these to work. There's some Python error. Um, unfortunately, they're PyC files, so, you know, you know, compiled in air quotes Python. Um, so I can't edit them. So I'm going to send that over to the devs over at Faraday and see if they know what, what's up with that. But, you know, this is just my first look, my first impressions. I'm going to take some, you know, deeper dives on this, uh, especially the community version, because I think that's what more people are going to use. But it is nice taking a look at the corporate version and seeing what kind of stuff, you know, if you were using this at a business, the kind of features that you'd actually have access to. So for my first impressions of Faraday, I think it's a really, really cool tool. I really do like it as a logging thing. Uh, I can see a lot of companies actually using this as like their centralized pen testing, you know, ticket system, if that's even what, you know, that's the equivalent of like what it would be in IT support maybe. But I think there's a lot of use for this and I'm going to enjoy taking a deeper look at it in some later videos. Other than that, guys, just remember, I've not been paid to say any of this. This is just my first impressions of this piece of software. If you did like the video, remember to give it a like. If you're interested in any particular features, leave some comments down below and I can make follow-up videos. I just wanted to show off this piece of software because I hadn't actually bumped into it before and I'm, I'm genuinely quite impressed by it. Once again, remember to like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.